an Andrew Dab episode that's funny, kind of scary, and a good emotional mix of what the supernatural formula would be. Too bad he didn't keep up with this shit. Welcome to the fun house. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 8, Episode 8, Hunterari, uh, Huntery, Hunter Cry. <laughs> it's the one where there's a guy who's imagining Looney Tunes as the real life world. Now this is a kind of, again, a little bit of a spin on other episodes that Supernatural did. Funnily enough, if I'm correct, the one where fairy tales or fairy tale wishes in the, in the coin bath that were coming true that for some reason had one of the Raimi brothers in it. Andrew actually does a decent episode here and I'm kind of surprised that I'm saying it because everything about this episode works well. The build up to the cartoony stuff is slow and methodical. The background story with Sam and the girlfriend's dad, while maybe the dad might not have been the greatest actor to choose. Cause I gotta say, Sam, you look like a real fixer upper to me. Wow. That progresses quite well with an interesting arc that's making those memories actually mean something. And then when the comedy elements do appear, it works well with the episode because it's also pulling on the heartstrings of a real life, real world issue that is what happens when you grow old. Something that I can say personally is uh, having worked, kind of co-worked at a few old folks homes, they're not fun. They're not happy most of the time. And the idea of putting yourself into those situations is not exactly a favorable one. Yes, there are good ones. Yes, there are bad ones. But it's just something that when you have to give up control of your own life and you have to hold it into someone else's hands, and in some cases you're also a little bit brain mush, that's kind of a scary element. And so to retreat into something that kept you happy when you were younger is a relatable issue, a relatable ideal. And that is something I like about this episode. I'm actually, again, very surprised with the direction this one goes. And the humor. The humor is actually pretty good. Castiel is fantastic in this episode, being his very awkward self. He did recently suffer from a mild, uh, which one is that? Bladder infection. Just stop smelling the dead guy. Why? We have missed that kind of humor. We didn't get a lot of that in the last season, and... It was kind of a welcome return for Castiel, especially when he's interrogating people. <laughs> Why did you kill your husband? Agent Stills, a word, please. And the cat, and the cat's this dumbass afterwards. Dumbass. And that keeps with the canon of the episode, unlike Dab's later iterations of the show. So I actually have to give a lot of credit to how this episode plays out. I like the dynamic with the guy who is seeing like visualizing the looney tune world and i love it when they go inside his head and i like that element to it i thought that was a good moment to jump the shark in terms of just the silliness of the episode because it works with what's going on and then that correlates to dean fighting the doc he's a selfish doc who's been stealing from the old folks to give to it's weird the villain of the episode's kind of eh but the overall element of the episode is still a very favorable one. And I like how it ends. I like how it all correlates into everything that's going on. Technically speaking, you could say it's a Monster of the Week episode, but it also has story progression for Castiel. It has story progression for Sam. And it has some fun moments with Dean, especially with the gun that goes pow. I find that part was great. Welcome to the fun house. Overall, I really think this episode's a very good Monster of the Week episode. Um, sure, it doesn't have a, a huge mainstay stake or anything to it, but it's just well made. And I think it's also just surprising to see Dab make something so decent or write something so decent. The director for this episode would never direct an, uh, Paul A. Edwards. He would never direct another episode again of Supernatural, but he also did a lot of few other fantasy related shows like Sleepy Hollow, uh, Lost, he did 10 episodes of Lost. So he was used to working with a budget and he probably could know how to work down on a budget. So maybe that might've correlated into it. Anyways, I'm going to give this episode a five out of seven. I think it's pretty decent. I think it's well made. I think it's well written and it's a funny, but also sad kind of episode at the same time. 
But those are my thoughts about this episode. Let's see what you guys have to say. I feel pretty ashamed of myself because I forgot about this episode because it's really funny. I really like the concept and some of the cartoon gags were good and the also the episode finally breaks from the mediocrity of the season. Overall, it's an 8 out of 10, probably my third to second favorite episode of the season. It's definitely up there like, for me. It was, it was a really good funny one. Like Dab actually did a decent job for the most part. This episode is a unique gem in terms of being a Monster of the Week episode. I grew up watching Looney Tunes and loved Looney Tune callbacks and Looney Tune related deaths. Castiel comparing the humanity to Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner as God is hilarious accurate for the show's depiction of God and his relationship to humanity. I will never get over how hilarious Cass is as a hunter from being the bad cop, oh he's so bad at that, and interrogating the cat. But to the show's credit, I absolutely love the social commentary of this episode and how to relate to Sam and Castiel to taking action and not running from the responsibilities. Mike Farrell as Fred Jones really shines in this episode and I really loved him in MASH. I thought I recognized him from somewhere. Uh, honestly, I love this episode. Every time I watch it, both Cass and, Sh and Sam shine in this one and I'm surprised that Sam and Dean were surprised about Castiel wanting to be a hunter. I laughed at the scene where Castiel was interrogating the housewife. Misha was hilarious. I really liked the callback to Sam's relationship with Amelia. Amelia's father was spot on both ah, on both Amelia and Sam running away from, from their lives and their relationship was going to last. Okay, I'll give you that. At first I thought you were talking about his acting. He's like, no, 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 the dialogue he talks about is kind of accurate. I also like the scene where Dean and Castiel are in the motel room. I was glad to see Sam was able to convince Fred to take control of his powers and stop hiding in his mind. I give this episode a 5 out of 5. Yeah, no. Pretty much dead on with how it's relating, like, this overall theme of everything is connected. Very good, like, you know, kind of stationary, but it is a very good, well put together show. Our episode. I thought this episode was funny and Castiel was the best part showing off how funny he can be of a character. Yes, this is when Castiel was good still at what he was doing before he got kind of lame and insufferable. Alright guys, that is our review for that one. Now we are moving on to Citizen Fang. Benny comes back. Make sure to give me your guys' thoughts about that episode in the comments below and I'll read those off in the next review. Till then guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.